All right, so I usually never record uh, when when it's like the day we arrive. So like right now, usually I'll just record tomorrow morning and the day tomorrow. But um, you know, this snow has changed that. I'm just gonna show you guys how deep the snow is. It's not crazy, crazy snow, but for a two wheel drive truck, which is our truck, we only have two wheel drive, not a four wheel drive. This amount of snow right here. Okay, here's my foot, right? Like that is enough that is enough snow to make a two-wheel drive truck get stuck and you're probably like why don't you drive four four-wheel drive we don't have a four-wheel drive so yeah i don't know if you guys can tell but snow everywhere oh this is like the deepest part right here because it's like an intersection and right here is the main road so it's not too bad but this road over here is pretty bad so i'm just gonna go find some wood for us to keep the campfire going. Today is November 4th. I am here with my uncle. He is an elk tag. I didn't have an elk tag, so I was like, heck, if you need a partner, I'm willing to, to be the partner for the day. So today's November 4th. Season closes tomorrow, but for us, this is our last day. So we are already starting our hunt, so I don't want to be too loud. So last week, my uncle and my cousin, they saw elk way up here. So we're going to see how it goes. A foot of snow. It might be an interesting day. I am so thankful for that I bought waterproof clothes and my gaiters. thing you want to always do when you run into elk or whatever you're hunting is you always want to observe the habitat like that was my first time seeing elk in the snow so right now I'm just doing as much studying and observing with this habitat right now and maybe later on if you see elk again in this type of terrain in this type of weather you know that the elk got a love to live in this stuff during this time of the year if you just see them once I'm not saying if you don't see it again and they're not they don't live there. I'm just saying you just gotta pick up the clues, add up the clues, and hopefully the puzzle adds up. But yes, first elk of the rifle season that I've seen.
It was scratching and eating. Took a dump. All right, so it is about almost 11 o'clock in the morning. I uh, came up here, saw two elk, saw two or three white-tailed does, and then uh, my uncle's leg is hurting. We're just gonna go back to the car and just relax for the rest of the day. So we didn't shoot anything, but a lot of the other people they're still out hunting. And so seeing those elk already made the trip for me. And so we're just gonna go back to the car and I guess this is it for the hunt. Might get lucky and just shoot one by the road. Lots of white-tailed deer tracks though. walking the road over to camp. It's not too far. So we're just gonna go and hopefully get the fire started again and just relax for the rest of the day. And sometimes that's just how hunting goes. I usually, I spend the whole day up there. Unless it's like a legit half day and we have to leave. But usually when we have a full day to hunt, I usually hunt the whole day. But since I'm not in a tag holder and my, and my uncle has uh, some leg problems, we're just gonna go back and sit at camp. Wait for everybody.